Just talking about the Red Sox game tomorrow night. There was some concern yesterday, Michelle, that uh, rain might affect that game tomorrow night, but you're feeling more confident about tomorrow's forecast. Hey, you know, uh, our computer models this morning trying a little bit further out to see what the track of the storm, which would mean the impact around here would be a little bit less. I still think we'll see clouds, maybe some showers and drizzle sprinkles for tomorrow, but uh, the timing of it will be fairly quick moving. So by the time first pitch happens up at Fenway later tomorrow evening, we should be drying out. 46 in Providence right now. We're mild and dry this morning. Fall Rivers at 56. Westerly starting off at 58. We've hit 60 in Groton and it's 51 degrees up in Gloucester. A very mild day again today up close to 70 in some spots. It's a pattern change though that's on its way. Starts tonight. Cold front's going to come through and it's we're seeing signs of maybe next week or two cooler than average conditions around here. That offshore storm tomorrow again. The forecast Again, just maybe light showers during the day. It's going to be raw for game one. Wind chills will be in the 30s, but I don't think they're going to have to worry about a, a soaking rainfall of trying to maybe slow things down or interrupt the game. That is not in the cards for game one. URI. Kingston this morning, beautiful with sun shining, high pressure still trying to control our weather, but here comes the change with that cold front. We'll start with temperatures that again this morning are in the 40s and 50s. Here we're, we're looking at uh, by two in the afternoon, mid and upper 60s over eastern New England, only about 40s to around 50 over parts of western uh, New York and central New York State. The cooler air flows in around here overnight tonight. Those temperatures down to about 41 by dawn tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Only 51 for the high two in the afternoon. That's gonna be a big change from what we've been used to first again weeks of autumn so far. 58 this morning, 9 a.m. Sunshine, just a few high clouds. 69 in the afternoon. I do think we'll see increasing clouds, but staying dry. There's a chance for a sprinkle this evening and then turning partly cloudy overnight down to about 41 dry and cool with those northwest winds of 5 to 10 miles an hour. Future cast does show the sprinkle with the cold front as we head into the afternoon hours. Again, just increasing clouds. So some hazy sun through the cloud cover though. 830 in the evening. Maybe again a light sprinkle. This does not look like a big deal. And then overnight tonight turning partly cloudy. Tomorrow morning we cloud right up. Here's what our computer Computer models are showing this morning bulk of the rainfall again it just staying offshore. There's still some computer models out there, especially for areas south and east of Providence, showing some light rain or uh, showers for tomorrow. So that's still out there. I think a little bit of a damp day, regardless of the track of this storm, but the worst of it probably missing our area. And by the evening Wednesday night, raw, chilly, but drier conditions, lower 40s game time with the winds. Wind chill will be in the 30s and we're going to stay chilly uh, for Thursday as well. We'll bring back some sunshine about 55 for the high Thursday afternoon into the 30s overnight. The weekend partly sunny Saturday near 53 about 57 for the high on Sunday. You can get that updated future cast on our website WPRI.com.